So now I'm going to go over how to use uh, breakout rooms um, in Google Meets here if you're using this uh, in a classroom um, to do a lot of this stuff here up in the uh, activities section here, which is where we'll find uh, breakout groups. Um, it's just for G Suite account users. Um, so if you're using this um, as a teacher for school and your students and things like that, that's where you'll actually see this. If you're just using Google Meets normally, you won't see the activities here. But we're going to go over breakout rooms. And basically what this does is, is it allows the teacher to take this one um, call with all the different students and break it out um, into basically separate little calls. Um, there will still be this main call that the students can jump back to if they need to, um, but this is great if you're trying to do reading groups and things like that. Um, we're first going to go over what it looks like from the teacher's point of view, uh, and then we're going to go over and see what it looks like from the student's point of view, um, just to kind of give you an idea of how this works and what the teacher is actually able to do with this. So if you're the teacher, to go ahead and start breakout rooms, you want to go to the activity tabs here. You see the different little shapes here. Now you want to select breakout rooms. From here, you can see all the people that are in the call. So far, it's just three of us, including uh, yourself, the teacher. Um, now we want to go ahead and hit set up breakout rooms. And here you get a couple of different options here at the top. So the first option is how many breakout rooms do you want to have? Um, defaults to two, but you can do more than that, as you can see. Um, but we're just going to go with two for now. Then you can set a timer. Basically, um, this will automatically end the breakout groups at a certain time. So if you're doing reading groups and you will only want it to be for 30 minutes, you can go ahead and select that checkbox and go ahead and change the time if you want to or leave it there. And then if you want to click on it again, you can uncheck it to turn off the timer. Um, if you shuffle, basically that'll just shuffle um, who's in the room and things like that. So if you want to do it more randomized, you can do that. Or if you hit clear, um, it'll clear everything out and you can see there's no one in these groups now. So to go ahead and put people in the groups, you can either click and drag their name from the main box and select and put them in the group you want. You can do that or you can actually just type in the name of the person and it'll pull up a list of people with that name who are actually in this main call and you can do that and as you can see uh, you can only be in one breakout room at a time um, and same goes for the teacher uh, they can only be in one breakout room at a time they can jump around freely between the rooms um, but they have to leave the breakout room they're in and then join a new one. So it's not quite as easy as just, you know, switching through things. Um, they do have to kind of go around um, and unjoin a room and rejoin a new room. So it does take a little bit uh, for a teacher to go ahead and switch. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and click open rooms. Actually here, let me move this guy up here first. And we'll click open rooms. And you can see even as the teacher, it's um, saying you've been invited to uh, breakout one. Um, that's the name of the room. You can return to the main call at any time. Uh, a student is actually going to see something very similar to this, which I'll show you uh, in a minute here. I'm going to select join. Okay, so now as the teacher, you can see we are in the breakout room, breakout room one over here. We can see we're the only one um, in this room currently. That's because the student hasn't uh, clicked the join button yet. Um, but from here, we can see we also have the other room, um, which we can go ahead and click join. So if we need to jump over to the other room, we can. We can also edit rooms or we can close rooms. Okay, so if we just... We'll go ahead and see what it looks like joining another room. 
So if we click join, it's going to kick us out of the other room we were in and put us into this uh, room too, this breakout room too. So again, you can only be in one room at a time, even if you are the teacher. Um, you can only be in one at a time. And you can see it's loaded here. And again, we can't be in one at we can only be in one at a time, so it shows us in the new uh, breakout room that we're in. Um, if we want to, um, we can always leave this. Um, that'll take us back to the main call if we want to. Um, so that main call will always be there for teachers and students. Um, again, I can edit the rooms if I want to. Um, you'll see that same layout we did before. And you can also change the names of these breakout rooms if you want to. Go back here. We can also close the rooms. So if we click close rooms, it's going to close all the rooms and everyone after 30 seconds will automatically go back to the uh, main room. So I'll do that real quick. And you can see breakout rooms are ending in, uh, you know, 23 seconds. It's counting down there. And if you click close rooms, you can click close all rooms now if you don't want to wait for the countdown timer. And then select return to main call. And there we go. You can see everyone's back in the main call right now. Um, so we ended those breakout rooms. Okay. So now... Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the student's point of view. Uh, so the teacher will recreate the breakout rooms and we're going to see what pops up um, for the student. Okay. So here you can see um, we are a student. We are no longer the teacher and the teacher has created breakout rooms and we get this message right here that says join a breakout room. Um, we're going to go ahead and select join. So here you go, you can see it's loaded and we are now in that breakout room that we uh, click join to that the teacher put us in. And you can see up here we get this little um, bar that says we can either ask for help or return to the main call. So if we ask for help, it's actually gonna pop up on the teacher screen that we need help. Um, that way they know they can jump into this room or they'll contact you and, and try to help you if you need that. But you can see we are in the breakout room now. And if as the student, we click on the activities tabs, we can select breakout rooms. And it just says um, we're in this room to discuss, you know, whatever it might be. Um, the teacher automatically put us in here. So you can see we can't adjust our own breakout room. Um, the only thing we can do as the student is return to the main call if we need to. Um, but we won't do that and you know till the teacher says we need to and now we can see that the uh, teacher has ended the breakout rooms and so we get this message here that says it's time to return to the main call so we just want to go ahead and click on that and that will return us to the main call um so that's how kind of breakout rooms work they're pretty simple um, so you can see both perspectives on what the teacher is able to do and what the students able to do um, and you know what buttons and things you have to click and if you need to ask for help uh, and things like that but hopefully this video helps and if it does go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this on how to make technology work better for you thanks